Hi everybody, I'm Tim from TrottenFeather.com and I am so excited to announce the release of my fly tying book, Fly Tying for Everyone. If you are just like, hey, I need to get the book, then just pause the video right now, go down in, into the description and you can figure out exactly how to order autographed copies down there. Otherwise, if you're interested in hearing exactly how this book came to be, stay tuned. To give you some background, a couple of years ago, I get this random message from Jay Nichols. Yes, that Jay Nichols, the one who is the editor of Fly Fisherman Magazine. He's the owner of Headwater Books. He sends me this message and it kind of goes something like, hey Tim, do you know anyone who's interested in writing a book on fly tying? And I look at this message and I think, is this a joke? Because this couldn't be intended for me. And if it was, I mean, that's not part of my plan. I, I, you know, I'm a teacher. I teach sixth grade. My plan is to just continue teaching until possibly an early retirement, then kind of kick back, relax, and then write a book. You know, isn't that kind of the goal? Uh, apparently not. Jay had something else in the works. So I said, absolutely. Let's talk a little bit about this. So we went back and forth and, and he basically said to me, look, I'm looking for like a great fly tying book for the beginner to intermediate fly tire, something that's not overwhelming, but something that can bring in, you know, modern materials, modern flies, modern techniques. We're not looking about a book that can teach you how to tie the woolly bugger or the atoms. We want just a kind of a new take on everything. I said, I'm in. So over the next year, I basically researched flies, techniques, macro photography out the wazoo, um, writing styles, you name it. I was completely all in. You probably noticed some of my YouTube output kind of declined a little bit because I had some other things to take care of, um, mainly trying to figure out exactly how to write a book on fly tying. After all of that research, I basically have figured out exactly what I'm going to do. I set a format and I begin writing and taking pictures. Now, whenever I say writing, we're talking about waking up early in the morning, basically before anyone else is up in my house, sitting down for an hour each morning and writing. Then going through my normal day, you know, teacher, family, fly fishing, then getting home, getting everyone to bed, and now going downstairs and taking tons of pictures, AKA macro photography, knowing that with each thread wrap, all of you can see it in my book. Now, behind the scenes, while all this was going on, my wife and I, my wife Heather and I, were also having a little girl. So Josephine was born in June of 2020. So, so were my hands full? Absolutely. But this book was still meant to be. As you can guess, the book eventually came together, fly tying for everyone. I'll just kind of read through the section so you at least know what you're getting into. Um, first of all, I have my acknowledgements to basically thank everybody that really helped to contribute to this book one way or another. Um, I had a foreword that was written by Chuck Faremsky and then I wrote my introduction. After that, I talk about basically the 21st century of fly tying. What does that mean? What are the materials we're using? How is social media influencing us? What are the vices available? Um, all the tools. I, I basically just kind of go over everything that's really impacting my fly tying and your fly tying today. Then I break it down and I selected 13 flies in which I could basically go through and teach all of the most effective techniques that I use for my tying on a regular basis. I broke them into categories. We have dry flies, emergers, nymphs, and streamers. And then through each one of those sections, I, I, you know, we got the photography, we got all of the macro work and all of that. But then I also wanted to have four segments to really help to pull it all together within each fly. And those segments are a tying tip, a featured technique, materials to consider, and a fishing suggestion. The book all came together, and then I also got some really great reviews from a few friends, including Tim Flagler, Devin Olson, George Daniel, Joe Messenger, and Gunnar Bramer. So once that was kind of all said and done, I put it back together for Jay, sent it over to him, and then next thing you know, Stackpole Books is really involved, getting all this to come to you. So as I mentioned before, if you're interested in ordering fly tying for everyone, you can find all of this through my website, troutandfeather.com. From there, I'm selling autographed copies. Um, and, and also, once you get the copy, for those of you that decide to purchase it, um, please, by all means, give me some feedback on it once you receive it. Take a picture of it, post it on social media. I will be glad to repost anything that you share as long as you tag me and make me aware because you know I wanna know what you think of it, but I also wanna make all the other tires out there who are looking for something like this, kind of, I wanna make this 
this available to them so they know this resource is out there. I think all of you kind of know my stance on social media. There is so much information in fly fishing and fly tying right now, it is completely overwhelming. There is such a steep learning curve for everybody out there. I'm talking beginners, intermediate, and even advanced tires and fly fishers. So my kind of gist of this book, I wanted to put it all together in one nice bundle. So you could say, here's one really just solid resource that if you go through this, you are gonna come out a much better tire and catch way more fish. So what's the point of this video? Is it to make all of you aware that this book is now available? Absolutely. But more importantly, it's to thank all of you, the YouTube audience, because hey, this is where I started. Yeah, sure, I was a guide years ago. I first started tying flies when I was 10 years old. I had a ton of mentors along the way. But when it came to finally kind of sharing my fly tying, the first place I chose was with all of you. Yeah, I love posting on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, even TikTok but YouTube is where I started. So whenever I decided to kind of formally announce this book, the first place was obvious. It was on YouTube. So because of all of you, because of all of your support, all of your shares, all of your likes, all of your subscribes to my channel, because of those comments, that feedback that you've given me over the years to say, hey, try this instead of this. Try talking a little less, which is absolutely impossible. But because of all that feedback that you gave me from all that growth, you all pushed me towards this book. And I wanna take a special moment to thank all of you for just getting me to this point in my life. Now, there are tons of other thank yous and I placed a bunch of them into the acknowledgements of the book, but the greatest goes out to my wife, Heather, because she was my biggest supporter from day one of this project. You have no idea how tough it is to write a book. I had no idea going into it. I thought, hey, years, you know, years from now, I'm gonna write a book and can't wait to kind of put it all together. But when photography, macro photography was introduced, wow, did it just drive me absolutely insane. For those of you who follow me on Instagram, you have probably seen kind of like a transformation of my pictures on there from three years ago till today because I was forced to kind of go from zero to 100 in a pretty short amount of time. And Heather was there giving me encouragement from just that first moment. I mean, I still remember I was tying a paradigm for this book and at one point it just was not working out. And I shot this fly and I kept taking pictures the whole way up till nearly the end and I did one thing and they were all ruined. It didn't matter because the way the fly came out, it wasn't to that highest quality that I knew all of you would expect. So I had to trash it all. And that was like a half day immediately gone. And who was there to pull me back up? It was Heather. So Heather, thank you so much for all the support. And as I said in the acknowledgements, I love you so much and I promise I won't start writing another book for at least another, I don't know, six months. And to all my family members and friends, thank you so much for the support along the way. I really needed all those boosts from all of you. And you know, this book is definitely dedicated to you as well. And then finally, to Jay Nichols, thank you so much for believing me. Thank you for pushing me. Thank you for all the advice and feedback along the way. Uh, I truly appreciate it. And I look forward to working with you again in the future. As we wrap this video up, one more time, thank you so much for all of the support. Uh, for those of you that do purchase it, hey, please feel free to share it with your friends. The next time you're in your fly shop, tell them about it as well, because I definitely want to help get that word spread out to everybody out there. If you have any questions or comments or feedback, please let me know at my email, which is tkamisa at gmail.com, or you can comment down below. All the information for the book is down there, and you can find it on my website, which is troutandfeather.com. If you're into social media, you know you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, uh, Facebook, and even TikTok. It's a lot of fun over there. Thank you so much, everybody, and I hope to hear from you soon.